me Morgan and welcome back to my channel um, I hope everybody is staying safe during these times um, and yeah so this video is going to be me showing and explaining um, five different ways you guys can stay healthy and active and lose weight during the quarantine so um, background on me I love to work out I love going to the gym and lifting weights but um, hello we can't go anywhere because we're quarantined so I had to find ways to still work out like I usually do which was a whole struggle because the first week um, of quarantine I was eating basically whatever I wanted um, not fast food but I would cook and um, it would be like a lot of like carbs and like you know stuff like that that's not really good for my body type so the first week I was like you know whatever I'm gonna eat whatever I want second week I still kind of ate whatever I want but I was like we're about to be quarantined for a minute so I need to change my whole lifestyle and get myself together because I'm not trying to come out of this quarantine you know 20 pounds heavier right so um I've been doing five things that have helped me um, lose weight so um, I weighed myself a few days ago so after the first two weeks when I was eating like crazy I almost was like at 170 um, my normal weight is like 160 like 163 ish um, and I'm 5'3 but yeah so I was getting you know up there like I just I didn't look that much bigger but I just felt like just like sloppy and like low energy and just like heavy I didn't feel like feel like myself so I'm gonna tell you guys and show you this is not gonna be a video of me just sitting here talking to you guys I'm gonna show you like um, what I do for cardio and what I do for like weightlifting and also the foods that I eat um, I made something yesterday which I'm gonna show you guys towards the end of the video um, but we're gonna get into the first thing the first thing that's super important okay so the first thing that's really important is number one wake up early and drink some tea okay so uh, my body's used to waking up early for work of course um, but we're on spring break right now I'm a teacher we're doing online teaching so we really don't have to wake up as early as we usually do so I found myself like literally laying in bed like waking up late doing nothing okay and I was like this is this is this is not it I can't do this so um, I start waking up earlier and I've been drinking green tea when I wake up so this is the tea that I've been drinking focus thank you um it's the green tea kombucha and green tea is great for your metabolism it jump starts your metabolism so if you wake up early and drink this this is great and i usually use um organic stevia in it um you can't use honey or you can drink it by itself growing up i was very um sugar happy when i had tea so my big thing is me trying not to put so much sugar in tea so i usually use like um three of these i've been trying to get down to two but um i really like this so drinking like a green tea in the morning any kind is great this is my favorite i love it and also i've been working out in the morning um so i worked out at 5 30 this morning um, right now it's almost 12 which is also time for another workout but um, I work out at 5 30 in the morning and I find it very easy now because I literally just have to wake up and follow a workout and then I can get back in bed after I drink my tea and stuff so um, number one number one make sure you wake up early and drink your tea you don't have to wake up at 5 30 but just wake up as if you're going to work and like eat something healthy or drink some tea and then you can you know sit back down or you can get your day started okay number two which i'm about to get up and show you is find a cardio workout plan or somebody to follow on instagram um for doing your cardio you can 
run outside, go to the park, do hit, whatever. Um, I hate running outside, you guys. I do not like running. So uh, I had to find something else that I would like to do and I would be excited to do. So I follow this Instagram page called Effect Fitness. Um, this is not sponsored or anything. Um, some of my friends go to that gym. It's a gym in Atlanta. But they do these like 30 minute, two hour long classes that are like nonstop going, okay? So I went on their Instagram page and they live stream at 5.30 a.m. So back to the first point, waking up early. I wake up at 5.30 and do one of their classes. So they go on IG Live at 5.30 and they go on at 12, which I'm about to show you guys now because it is 11.59 right now. Um, and then they go do it again at 5.30 p.m. So I'm gonna show you guys, like I'm about to log in on my iMac and open up their live stream and record some exercise, well not exercises, I'm gonna record myself doing the live stream for a little bit so you guys can see. But I love it because it is fun. The music's turned, they're lit, okay? And the stuff you have to use is like body weight stuff or you have to use like dumbbells or like um, bands. It's like stuff you would have at home. So I'm gonna show you guys that now. Okay, you guys, so you can go on to google.com and type in Instagram Live Chrome extension and click that link right there. It should be the first one. Um, and then you just go over to Add to Chrome. So you're going to add this to your Chrome browser. And I think you need to make sure you use Chrome for this. And at the top right, click the arrow and go to IG Stories. And if you're already logged in, your IG story should come up. And there you go. There is Effect Fitness um, live streaming on your All right, you guys. So number two is working out and doing a cardio, um, especially if you're trying to lose weight um, or maintain. Cardio is great. So uh, I do not like running outside like all the time. I really actually kind of hate running. I have like a love-hate relationship with it. Um, so I'm trying to find ways to do my cardio you know while I'm in the house so uh, things that get your heart rate up are great for cardio uh, which is called hit high intensity interval training um, but I found an Instagram page called effect fitness and they do these live stream classes on Instagram live every day um, most days like at least twice a day they'll do it and if the class is like 30 or 40 minutes it's free it's great this video is not sponsored by them or anything. I just love doing the class. So I'm gonna show you guys um, me doing the class a little bit um, so you guys can see what it's like. But it is tiring. By the time I'm done, I am drenched in sweat and I always burn at least 300 calories. So they have a class at, let's see, at 12. It is 12.05 right now. So they're kind of just like warming up right now. But they'll tell you what you need in the class. So usually it's like a leg band or arm band, light weights, like a two pound weight or heavy weights. Um, today it is their ankle straps. So I've had these um, for a while. So all we need today for our class are ankle straps. Um, so I think they're about to get started on there. Um, they play lit music. It's so lit, okay? It is fun. So let's get working out. This class is super turnt, I'm telling you guys. I need to put these on because they're probably going to start any minute now. I never know which way to put these band things on. I think it goes this way. Yeah. I don't know how heavy these weights are either. It says 2.5 pounds, but I feel like they're heavier than that. So I don't know. But I have my ankle weights on um, and my little Gymshark outfit. This is my newest Gymshark outfit, I love it. But um, yeah, I need to stretch so we can um, get through this class, you know, cause I'm gonna be tired. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stretch and get started.
y'all. I am tired. That class was tiring. I'm drinking tea right now. It's my tea from this morning. I didn't finish it. Whew. So, try to finish it now. Y'all, that was tiring. That was my first time doing it with ankle weights, which I'm taking off right now. Um, so I think these were 2.5 pounds, but whoo, geez, I'm tired. Okay, catch my breath. All right, so that was some clips from the workout. Um, yeah, it's hard not to stop, but you got to keep going. Um, they're very motivating and everything, so that kind of helped me not stop, you know. But yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna look at my watch. Um, it was about 40 minutes, and I burned about, uh, can y'all see that? About 400 calories. It's at 399, but I burned about 400 calories. So, if you guys are looking for like a class like that, I will leave it linked below their Instagram, and I think they usually post a schedule. Um, on their Instagram page, like in the bio, or they'll have a post of it. But that gym's in Atlanta, it's called Effect Fitness. I have never been there, I'm not a member there. Um, I've been wanting to go, but it's like, I think it's on the south side of Atlanta, and I live like kinda on the north side. So like traffic, getting there, like when people are at work, it's very, very bad. Like it will probably take me like 40 to 50 minutes to get there, um, but if they, if the world opens back up in the summer, I would love to do that class there um, since I'm off in the summer anyway. But yeah, y'all. Um, I'm also gonna post a clip, a screen record of how to get to um, their Instagram page if you wanna watch it like on your iMac or your computer or MacBook because you have to download a plugin. So I either put that, I'm either gonna put it after this video or I already put it before the video. I don't know which one I'm gonna do, but it's on here, okay? And I'll leave the link to that below. So yeah, so that was number three, um, cardio. Um, that's what I do for cardio. So yeah, now I'm gonna lift some weights after I cool off a second. And since I did legs right here, I'm probably gonna do some more leg exercises. So I'll probably show you like four or five exercises I like to do at home. Four or five of my favorite ones I like to do at home. Okay, so here is number three. So since I just did that leg cardio workout, I'm going to be focusing on my butt today because my legs are pretty sore. Um, so yeah, we're gonna focus on the glutes. So I'm gonna do a few exercises that I love doing at home for my glutes, my booty. So I have this band right here, and this is a resistance hip circle band, and the, resist the resistance on this is very, very heavy. So the first exercise I'm gonna do to kind of warm my glutes up, so I'm just gonna put it here. Um, you can also use like the band I have on the floor down here, but this resist resistance is higher. Um, I got this on Amazon, and this one's actually from Slingshot, the company. I think they're the first ones to start this. Um, but I'll leave a link to some more bands I have that are like this that I got on Amazon. So you're just going to sit up straight and you're going to be on your toes and I'm just going to go in and out to activate my glutes. So in and out, in and out. I do about like four sets of 20 of these and you are going to feel the burn, okay? So four sets of 20 of these. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna be on the floor and I'm going to put these up here, the bands up there, and I'm gonna use the couch. Like, I love using the couch, doing these booty workouts. So you're gonna lift one leg up, and you're gonna go down and up, down and up. You're gonna want your butt to tap the ground slightly, all right? So I usually do four sets of 12 of these two on each leg. I always do four sets of everything, but these are tiring. All right, the next thing you can also do is hip thrust and you don't have to have a band or, any, or weights to do these things. You can do this with your body weight also, but 
I had 20 pounds that I found at Dick's, luckily, because all the weights are sold out. Um, but yeah, we're going to do hip thrusts. I'm going to put this 20 pound weight because this is the heaviest weight I have. And I'm going to put it right here. And you're going to spread your legs out and you're going to go down and up. Down and up. And I do four sets of 12 of these. You can feel the burn. When you go up to the top, make sure you're squeezing. All right. And then one of my other favorites are fire hydrants, of course, and kickbacks. So I think everybody knows what fire hydrants are. Um, just get in this position and you're going to kick your leg out and come back down. This band is really strong, you guys. It's really, really strong. All right, and then you can also do glute kickbacks. And when I do my glute kickbacks, I like to go down further and then go up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And I like to do four sets of 12. So those are the things that I usually do um, when I'm doing but at home. Those are like the five like essential basic things I like to do. So make sure you guys are doing some kind of exercise, workout during this quarantine to keep your body right and keep it in shape. And also if you wanna gain, you know, something back there, tone up, whatever. Um, I'll leave the link to these bands below. And what else? Yeah, I'll leave the links to these bands below. They're on Amazon. So let's go on to number four. All right, so I'm fresh and clean out of the shower after that workout. Y'all, I'm tired and I'm so hungry. It is now one, no, is it two? It, 135. So um, this brings me to number four, which is eating. So it's lunchtime. Um, so, <laughs> I love food. So the first, like I said, first couple weeks um, during quarantine, I was kind of eating whatever I wanted. Um, I don't eat fast food, by the way. So and I really don't eat fried foods except like chicken wings and fries. But I was eating like a lot of like dairy and um, carbs. And dairy just really doesn't work with me, you know? I love cheese like all that stuff, but it just doesn't work that well for me. Um, and carbs, I do love carbs. Um, the only carbs I really eat are like potatoes and rice um, and grits. I love grits and oatmeal. But I decide to go keto, which means like very low, 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 low. Actually, it's no carbs, yeah, no carbs. And if I do have carbs, it's coming from like the vegetables I eat or the fruit I eat. So, since I'm doing a keto quarantine, I really can't have any carbs. Um, and I did that because my body gains weight so fast when I have carbs and I'm not burning them like I usually am. So since I'm at home and you know, I'm not as active as I usually am, I'm not burning those carbs that, you know, I'm not burning it like I would usually burn it. So I had to lower the carb intake. So yesterday I made a red pepper tomato stew and Kennedy, um, she's a YouTuber also, she inspired me to make it because I saw her make it. I just added my own ingredients that I wanted. So I added like red peppers and green peppers to it. Um, she had potatoes, I didn't use potatoes, but I'm gonna get it out of the fridge now because I'm about to eat it for lunch and I wanna show you guys it cause it's so delicious, okay? Oh. So yesterday I posted on Instagram the stew and I'm gonna go ahead and post a clip right here so you guys can see um, what all is in it and the ingredients that I used.
Okay, so this is the stew that I made. I left it in the pot. Um, yes, and it is so delicious. Look at it, yes. So it has all those ingredients that I just showed you. Um, that is chicken sausage in there and shrimp. Um, it is so good. Um, this is all keto friendly, um, no carbs at all. So I'm just going, it would look so much better the next day. Look at this, look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a bowl. Um, if you are eating carbs, like rice or potatoes, you can put this with rice, it'll be so good. So I'm just gonna make a bowl of it because I'm so hungry. And it looks so delicious. Um, there's no like recipe recipe for it, like written recipe for this. So I kind of just added my own spices. I'll list the spices that I use below if you guys are interested. Um, and if you want me to make this for you guys and show you how I make it, I'll make it again in a couple weeks and record it if you would like me. So please let me know. Um, and I'll also link Kennedy's video down below. And real quick, before I pop this in the microwave, for the stew that I made, um, the base of it is a red pepper to tomato soup. So I used two containers of that and put it in the pot. And then I cut up the spinach, peppers, and onions and put that all in there. And then I cooked the sausage and the chicken, no, the chicken sausage and the shrimp separate and then put everything together and I let it simmer for two hours and, um, you know, added different spices in it, which I'll leave linked below and what I used. But yes, yeah, so I am going to be keto. So I can eat basically anything except carbs. Um, and I have done this before and it works very, very well. So I thought it would be perfect during this time. So like I said, number four, make sure you're eating for your body type and your goals and you're eating healthy, okay, to lose weight. If you want to lose weight or maintain, or if you want to gain weight, up your carbs. But you know, everybody's different. Um, I already lost, like, I think I'm back down to like 163 now. So this is working. So yeah, let me pop this in the microwave so I can eat my lunch. Okay, so number five, and last but not least, taking your vitamins and your supplements and drinking your water every single day. So I have tons of vitamins, and in the past, I was not good at taking them every single day. I was not that consistent. But with all this going on, it's very important to make sure you have your daily vitamins. I think if you have a really good immune system, that is a great, great help, okay? Not saying you won't get anything, but if you boost your immune system, I believe you have, you know, chances of staying healthier, okay? Staying healthy. So, um, before I get into supplements, um, I meant to show you guys this for my lunch. Um, I'm gonna drink the rest of this. And this is Healthy Kombucha. Not sponsored, I wish it was, because these things are good, but they're expensive as I don't know what. Um, I got this at Sprouts. I think they have it at Kroger or Publix. Um, Whole Foods probably has it too. But um, this flavor is Tropical Punch. The other day I had, what did I have? Passion Fruit Tangerine. This bottle right here is $3.99, y'all. It's expensive. Um, it's 16 fluid ounces. But um, basically it's a probiotic tea. So this is very, 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 very good for your gut, okay? I mean, it says it on here. Follow your gut. It's great for gut health. Um, it's fermented in glass, real fruit handcrafted, small batch kombucha, cold press, cold, <laughs> cold press flavors. Um, like I said earlier, I drink green tea kombucha for like the morning time. Um, so yeah, so all these ingredients on here I can name. Um, kombucha is the first one. 
Um, so some people don't like it because it looks scary or like the taste is kind of like difficult to get used to. I got used to it really easily. Um, like if you want a soda, I feel like this is great because it's car it has like that carbonatedness to it also. So um, it has yeast and bacteria cultures in it, hence why it's a probiotic tea. Um, and it has just pineapple juice in it. And this is organic like cold press juices. So pineapple juice, mango, orange, tangerine juice, um, it does have cane sugar in it, green tea, but this one bottle has 80 calories um, and it has 16 grams of sugar. So, I mean, 16 grams of sugar and carbs, but I feel like I'm okay drinking this because the, the carbs comes from the fruit in it, not like, you know, starch carbs. But yeah, I love this right here. It's so good. So I'm gonna drink that. Oh, drink it, the rest of it in here. I don't have that much left. That's all I have left. So I try to like drink one, like save one for two days, like make it last for two days. So I have to get another one, but yeah. So anyway, on to the vitamins before I eat, cause my food is ready. Um, first, vitamin C which is amazing of course if you guys can find it vitamin c is like sold out everywhere um i don't even know if amazon has it but i take one vitamin c um i take a zinc which also helps your immune system um i take a one a day vitamin one a day okay and i also take one more other thing which i'm going to show you let me go get it okay before my camera dies because it's flashing right now, um, I take um, elderberry, elderberry, um, Sambuco. So first I was taking the gummies. Um, so when I take supplements, I really don't like to take the gummies because I feel like it's added sugar and just it's not as potent. But um, I did get these. I think this is all I could find at the time. So I was taking these, which I still have some. I take them in the morning sometimes. Um, but what I got was that I really like is the liquid Sambucol. And my coworker told me about this, but it's very, very, very good. Um, yeah, it's, it's great for a lot of things. Um, I know, which one is it? This one, I think this one has, one of them has vitamin C in it, I don't know. But it's really good for your immune system. So this is liquid, I take 10 in a little container, milligrams of it, yeah. I pour it in like the, you know, little tiny cup thing, take 10 milligrams of it, which, no, not milligrams, 10 milliliters of it. Um, so yeah, I take this in the afternoon, and then I also found these, and these are like the little, I wouldn't say candies, but they're sweet. If I want like a sweet candy treat, I'll take, I'll eat this. But these are vitamin Z, vitamin Z, vitamin C elderberries. I cannot talk, you guys. I'm so hungry. Vitamin C elderberries. So, um, yes, elderberry is very good for your immune health. Look it up. It's great. So those are all the vitamins that I take. All right, so that concludes my video of the five ways that I'm staying healthy, you know, losing my weight, whatever, during quarantine life. Hopefully this ends. I hope everybody is out there being safe. Um, if I missed anything or you guys have any tips or whatever, please leave them below. Um, and let me know if you guys want me to make that recipe because it is so delicious you guys i'm telling you it's so good um prayers go out to everybody out there who is sick or who has family that's sick or passed away um during these times it's so sad i just pray that all this is over with soon 
you know I hope we find like a cure vaccine something because this is crazy you guys everybody is literally affected by this in the whole world not just the United States like the whole world planet earth okay everybody is so I'm just gonna pray for those people out there who are affected by it um, make sure you guys stay safe stay healthy please exercise eat right um, now's a great time to do that and it does make you feel better okay it makes you feel great just make a goal and try to accomplish it but thank you guys so much for watching i'll leave everything linked below and i'll see you next time bye